And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time, part two of the red thing with all the effects on it and amps on it and stuff. And now it goes into computer and stuff. Pedal show, my name is Gabor. Hi, <laughs> I'm Alex. We're going to check out what all that stuff with the amp two. Yes, by Blackstar, and this was sent to us by Blackstar Australia, so this is what you would call yeah. a sponsored video. Now, you can watch video number uno here, which was basically an overview of the Amped 2, uh, all the functions, everything that's on it. Now, in this video, we're going to look at a couple of other things. One of the things we're going to look at is this. This is the <laughs> software uh, or called the Architect. It's a cool name. Mm, cool architect name. software. Uh, for this, we have extra things you can do and call up extra things, and we will go through all that now. So, let's quickly have a look at the Architect software. So, you have two different things, basically. You have uh, what they call manual mode, We see the pedal here. And actually, as I'm doing this, I'm moving the time knob. What? It's, it's, it's moving there. It's possessed. So, it's connected. It's even when the tap light's flashing, it's flashing here at the same time. And it even... No, it doesn't. I was going to say it comes up with that, but it doesn't. Uh, so it's basically, it, it copies, it mimics everything that's there. You also have, if you click down the bottom here, this, which is uh, their kind of cabinet simulation thingy dingy. Thingy dingy. Thingy dingy. Radio. Now, what you can do here is you have, so on, on the actual unit, you have access. And as I'm flicking this on here, it changes it here. So these are the three preloaded... Um, cabinet and speaker speaker and uh, microphone um, variations so number one cabring one is a cabinet a four by tw a two by twelve classic uk combo with a 414 condenser microphone and you, the microphone is on axis you have a little bit of room sound wide room sound from a medium room uh, you have a tiny little bit of eq the high mids are kind of ever so slightly you know cut uh, you've got a high cut and you've got a little bit of a low cut. As I go to the second preset, it's a 4x12 classic UK, again with a 414 condenser with all this stuff. The third one is a USA open back. So I guess they're voiced for the three different styles of, yes. uh, of thingy dingies. But there are more thingy dingies than these thingy dingies because what you can do is you can click on the cabinets and then you have all these. Uh, you can also turn the cabinets off. So if you want to use external IR loaders as you're using this, or if you want to go and use something like the torpedo wall of sound, you can. But you have 1x10s, 1x12s, US style ones with the Alnica speaker, ceramic 1x12. Then uh, you have 2x10s, 2x12s, 4x10s, open back. Yeah, uh, cool. So if you want to go from, say, twin to a super river, you can. Okay, so should we now quickly just have a look, do uh, that. find a sound. Let's do that. And have a look at some. Uh, actually, not only that, you yeah. also have a whole bunch of presets that Blackstar gave you. So you have an airy 4x12, an ambient combo, an articulate 4x12, a balanced 4x12, a fat 4x12, a honky combo, and so on and so on. So we can look at some of the presets. You can make up your own presets too, of course. But let's look at some of the presets. Okay. Move some stuff around uh, and see how we go. Shall we uh, just, yeah, start? So let's find a sound. Let's go back onto here and find a sound we like. Cleanish? I bet. So now let's add an airy 4x12 to that. Actually, sounds really good, doesn't it? Oh, good, yeah. <laughs> so it's a vintage, oversized UK 4x12 with a 121 ribbon microphone Ooh. on axis. You've got a little bit of low-end cuts. Yeah. Uh, you're Actually. in a large, damped room. Damp? Like damped. Oh, damped. It's not, not, not wet. It's no, been raining, yeah. Moldy. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, that sounds really good, actually. <laughs> Really good. Solo tan. 
Uh, what do you want? Let's try an ambient combo. Okay. That's good. It's different. Now, for example, with this now, so it's a modern USA 2x12. With this, let's go to, for example, a large room, yep. not damped, and you have three different types. You have mono, stereo, and wide. Uh, some mono, stereo, or a, quite a wide three-dimensional sort of feel. Let's add a whole lot of that wide room sound into it. Yeah, fat 4 by 12 I'm just going through a few. Sure. I like that oversized UK 4x12. Yep. That's a good sound in cabinet. Ooh, the this bass is yeah. boosting the bottom end. Preset, so this is a um, the EQ section has presets too. This is an EQ preset called Lo-Fi. change the microphones you've got a 57 dynamic 421 dynamic 67 condenser 414 condenser 121 ribbon and 160 ribbon rib, ribbon ribbon Rabbit. and then you can have it on axis or off axis uh, kind of weird life i think we should try another preset maybe uh as in the eq preset like a whole system preset uh okay uh let's try a black star preset let's do let's do uh Jangly 4x12. So, I mean, you can change a whole bunch of stuff. You can do a bunch of stuff in here. You can also do this thing where you can roll the dice and it gives you random oh, cool. stuff. I like so the way software does it. It gives you random presets. <laughs> This is a 212 vintage USA combo. It changes everything. I mean, every time you press it, whole screen goes Everything mad. changes, yeah. Everything changes a bit. Now, here you have the three um, device patches. So, they're the three patches that are stored on, on um, your device. Right on. And you have local patches. So this is where can you store your own and I believe I don't know if there is already or will be a community where you can share patches 
Oh, that sounds like uh, a wholesome thing to do. Yes, yes, very wholesome thing to do. Now, you can also do this thing, which is kind of cool, because, I mean, everything is recallable via this. So you can save um, sound patches, too. You can actually click the dice here, yep. and it changes your settings. Oh, so you can have random stuff happening. Hang on, let's go back. Maybe it's not have a two by twelve. Let's go back. That uh, airy four by twelve, sorry. So it, it changes everything. It turns effects on and off. It just gives you random options That's and a fun thing. Just something to do to tweak a, you know, and then you can save your all. And like I said, you have these community ones, but um, I don't know if that's something that's going to happen or not happen, but I don't know. Anyway, it's all completely recallable. So if you find a sound you like, you save it onto here, you can recall it at any time. So if you record something, it's totally recallable. You also have the tune on here, so you can have it really big if you want to tune. It's flat. It's there too. I mean, it's always slightly different. We have our tune on the floor. Um, but I mean, that's basically the software. And I mean, you can do everything on here. Uh, you've got settings and stuff where you can change your MIDI channels and all that sort of stuff. And, uh, you know, there's all these sort of setup kind of options. But I mean, that's basically that in a nutshell. Uh, quite a lot of stuff you can do, quite powerful. I think it's, it's their own ecosystem. You can't load your own third-party IRs onto it. But for what it does, I think it does quite a good job. Definitely. Nice variations in tones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, uh, you can really hear different cabinets sound really quite different, and and yeah, no, I I quite like it. I think, and it's easy easily set up. You just plug it in via USB C, and off you go. Off you go. Okay, uh, now should we look at uh, some other features? And we're back, and we are now plugged in uh, via the speaker out into our two notes captor that we usually use with the same speaker, same everything. So now we're gonna. Go through a few sounds and see what it sounds like using the speaker out as opposed to emulated out. Sure. Should we start off with the internal one then, swap to the two notes? Okay. Well, let's start off with, uh, for example, let's start off with a uh, clean sound, like a clean amp. Okay. And to see what it sounds like. So this is now the internal sounds. And then at some stage, it was the other sound. <laughs> now, should we do the same thing? We just did the same thing with all three, just to, and let's go, I don't know, let's go to EL84 for that one. Sure. Let's try this one. Sounds good. In a room, we hear both at the same time. So for you guys, we'll just future do future editing. We'll future play. editing, we'll edit it out. So yeah, so that's the that's the internal versus the um, the speaker output. Uh, should we not check what it sounds like? Also, uh, running uh, pedal into it, so an overdrive. So maybe just let's just let's just hear in here. Just let's just hear just the speaker out at the moment, if that's possible. We record the other one too, or just record the other one too, maybe. But just uh, okay. Oh no, no, just turn it off. Just the speaker out for now. Um, just the speaker out. Oh, just the two notes. You just want to hear the two notes. Just hear the two notes. Okay. So this is now, we're also just hearing this. And we he, oh, it's done here. Uh, I've got this, which you can hopefully kind of just see in the corner. This is the TSX Overdrive by Dazzatronics. You can watch a full video here. 
Now that's running into the front of this and it is also powered by its own nine volt output here Sweet. that powers it. Let's see what it sounds like. So this is now using the speaker out, but this is sound like with uh, an overdrive in front of it. <laughs> Clean time. Clean sound. Quite well, let's let's go the more crank sort of marshally kind of thing uh, and see what it sounds like. Boost it with a tube screamer. <laughs> <laughs> all of the delay it was Ever. just in a it was set up in a funny way but um sure it was should, should we just very quickly check while we're at it yeah. how it handles lower tunings because i know people always ask that question do they oh does it handle the lower tuning man because I, I play the middle man does it work with the middle man the metal <laughs> so i'm going to use this carbon which is would be now called kiesel with some fishman fluence modern pickups and i'm Tune to drop C tuning. Now let's do that same sound. benefit from a noise gate but it does sound good work. <laughs> holy moly that doesn't work Now, can we hear the same thing Ew. through the internal output? Sure. I want to change it to the two by the four by twelve. Yep. So this is now the internal. <laughs> it definitely has. There's gain there. works with the internal. Yeah, like a, a, a noise gate of some sort for this sort of stuff. I know a lot of like ang angles and stuff, my angle has six or sixes in it and stuff sure. and the EVH stuff has six or sixes in it so maybe for metal it's a good... I like the six or six. Now that works. Uh, that sounds and actually I think that sounds pretty good. Okay, so what have we done now? We've done we're going we went uh, compared going direct versus going into a speaker or speaker emulation. We've tried it out with a pedal in front of it. 
sure have. Uh, now, I know what people will also ask. How loud is How loud is it? Is it loud enough to use it in a band situation? Let's check that out. And we're back, and we now have a 1x12 cabinet. There'll be a photo of it that I will be showing you now. Uh, just off screen here. It's just in front of us. Uh, we don't have it marked up, because that's not the point. The point is, does it go loud enough yes. that you could use it in, an amp, in a band situation as an amp, you know, going straight into a speaker for, in an, for an amp situation? You've got an 8-ohm and a 16-ohm output in the back. Now, we're set to 1 watt. Uh, let's try it. Let's see. It's clean-ish. So the mic you're hearing it through is the mic we use to pick up our speech. Yeah. So this is how loud we're talking. And you'll see also by the pain uh, <laughs> and us holding onto our glasses that I don't shatter later on because it yeah. goes very loud. Okay. One what? One what? <laughs> This is me talking over the one watt, one watt. So this is fairly quiet, but the volume is, we can have more volume, let's turn the volume up a bit more. So this is me now yelling over the one watt. That's, that's, pretty, that's loud. pretty loud. You could probably jam with that. You actually. can just about jam with that. Maybe with a drummer, I would maybe go to 20 watts, but it gets loud. getting louder. This is getting very loud. It's probably starting to distort the mic. Yeah. This is when the filling start coming out. It's starting to get... <laughs> it's loud. On 20 watts, it's very loud. I think 20 watts... Oh, but actually, okay, let's have a look. Clean. Could you be loud enough to... Pristine clean to run pedals into it on 20 watts. I reckon yeah. 20 watts, that's loud enough as a clean yeah, with totally. a drummer. Um, now, 100 watts. Okay. Wow. Okay, it's loud. Well, it's it's, <laughs> it's definitely loud enough. <laughs> you have to automate some distortion there, that might. So, if you're on an outdoor stage with a two twelve or a um, four by twelve box, um, yeah, heaps of poke. No worries. Do you know that overseas, no one knows what you're saying when you're saying quad box? They don't know. That's an Australian thing. Really? Yeah. So it's a four by twelve. Losers. <laughs> <laughs> quad box, as in quad. Four speakers. Four of them. Four of. It's not that cryptic. No, but yeah, so, I, I just yeah, I just know that yeah. people don't use that term overseas. But yeah, it's definitely loud enough. So that was the Amp Two by Blackstar. Uh, yeah, it's. I mean, it's. It feels solid as well. It's built well. Um, it also has MIDI capabilities, and I'm not a hundred percent sure. I need to find out about that, whether you can actually recall some of those presets mm. that we talked about earlier on, where you actually, all the controls change. If you can recall those presets via MIDI, I'm not sure if you can store them on here or only on a computer. That's the only thing. So I'm not 100% sure of that, but I'll find out more about it. But other than that, I mean, I think it's it's quite a... Substantial little substantial box, little box yeah, yeah. yeah. You can also technically run it via this output here, straight into an, the front of an amplifier and use it as a distortion and multi-effects unit. But um, I don't know. I don't, will anyone actually use it like that? Possibly if you're doing backline shows, if you're a regular gigging player, doing either like a sideman gig or corporate wedding band. Yeah, stuff. but still, I... I it used it. You could even, with a combo amp, you can use the speakers of the combo sure. amp. You don't have to go through the preamp. True. Uh, anyway, I mean, there's there's all that stuff you can do. Uh, it's built quite well. I, like I said, I do like the fact that it has a, a, a mains input, so you don't have to lug a little power supply along that may break or things may happen. Uh, it's it's built well. It Yeah, I like it. So all up, thoughts, yeah. thoughts on it, Alex? I think it's good. I do think, I was saying before, I do think it has its own personality. It's not quite a full, like, one-for-one one emulation of the classic things. I don't think it's meant to be that, though, either. 
Sure. Yeah. Just so if you're trying to go, I want the best AC30 sound in the world, this is kind of that world. It sounds good, but it may not be one for one. Yeah. So I do think it has its yeah. own personality thing going on. Um, hopefully you like that. If not, that's okay. See, I think what it what it I think what it does, it sort of I mean, Black Star does a lot of amps that are reminiscent of yeah. those amps. And I think it may go more towards the amps that Black Star does as opposed to the actual original amps. Yeah. So it's it's within that world, those three amps, that Fender style, Vox style, Marshall style. It's within that world, but it's its own flavor, like you were saying. Which there's, yeah. it's not a bad thing; no. it's just a different thing. So there's probably enough martial em- emulations in the world for for to last a lifetime. Yeah. So having its own personality is probably a nice thing to yeah. do. But all up, I've got to say, the direct sounds are great. Yeah. It feels good when you play it. The uh, outs when you go into a speaker sound great. It's loud as hell. <laughs> I mean, it was loud as hell when we were playing it before. Uh, I really like the fact that it has the power um, that you can power other pedals with it. So it has you plug the mains thing in, and then you can actually via those two. I'll show a close up photo of it. You can actually power other pedals with it. You do have an effects loop if you want one. You have headphones out too, so you can use it just with headphones. Uh, it's quite versatile. I think it's quite a good thing. What do you guys think? Comments down below. Um, do you like it? How would you use it? Maybe. Because it's it's one of those things. It, it's, sorry, it's one of those things that can do a lot of things, but mm. it doesn't do the thing you want it to do. Yeah. Questions. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thanks for hanging. There's also links to Instagram, Facebook, and podcast. Please check them out if you're a second. Please do. And big thank you to the good folks at Black Star Australia for sending this out to us. Thank you very and much. And to all you people for watching. Have a good day. Bye bye. Bye.